Hi guys, welcome to today's job. Um, this we've got a uh, artificial grass clean for today. Um, as you can see, it's it's been a little while since I last done this one, about four or five months. Um, there's a lot of debris from the storm we've had recently. Um, start off by just applying some uh, of the cleaning chemical just to the more dirtier parts of the grass, um, just to get it going, um, and we'll see what happens from there. Don't forget to like and subscribe guys to see more of this content and um, if there's anything you'd like to see in particular if you could leave a comment down below let me know I'll do my best to try and get that into the next video. To start with on today's job we're going to use the power broom, I'm going to use that to clear all the debris and get that all to the edge of the grass before hoovering it up to the wet and dry vac. And this is just making my life a little bit easier. I've applied a little bit of cleaning chemical beforehand, which is gonna help clean, deep clean those dirtier areas. And later on, we'll apply another layer of the, the cleaning solution. And but for now, we're just gonna start with getting rid of all the debris. In this section here, there was some dried tough shift uh, dog muck, which was um, just a little bit too tough for the power brush to remove. This is where the job gets a little bit less than fun um, and using the hard brush section of our vacuum, we had to scrub this by hand to remove it. Um, luckily, the rain had held off whilst I was doing this because trying to clear the dog muck whilst it's wet is a completely different ball game.
it's always a good start to any job when you uh, realise that the dog hair from the previous job had blocking the tube for your hoover. Um, what we're doing here is just hoovering up all the edges where we've pushed all the debris to one side. Um, and also the surrounding decking where bits have flown off onto there, making it all look pretty. This section of the clean is the bit that takes the longest, um, hoovering up all the little tiny little bits of debris that gets flicked around the sides, um, but it's the most important part. The whole point of the clean is to remove all the debris from the surface of the grass and what's buried into the, into the fibres of the grass as well. After all that bit's done, it's time for the proper application of the cleaning chemical. This will sanitise the grass, so any dog muck that's been left on there, all the bacteria will be killed. Also leaves a nice scent afterwards. I believe the one we're using today is the fresh cut grass scent. 
um, and really sort of makes it smell lovely, look lovely and brings out the colour um, and kills all the bacteria. The cleaning chemical that we use um, on the artificial bar is completely pet safe once it's dry so we advise our clients to like, wait at least an hour after we've finished to make sure it's completely dry and completely safe for any pets to go on to after that. The last step on our artificial grass clean is to add the aesthetic lines into it. Now this has absolutely no uh, preference over the clean at all, it's just to make it look nice at the end of the day. Um, you can opt out of this at all, but we like to add it in. I think it really leaves a nice showroom ready grass at the end of it. Um, hope you like it. And if you really liked our video today, it'd be great if you could like and subscribe. Um, leave a comment if you think we should do anything better or anything you'd like to see on the channel over the next coming months and um, we'd be sure to love to hear about it.